Hi my loves, good morning. Apologies for the washing machine sound. Welcome to Bronkmas day two. Coming to you this morning, not looking like you noticed. I'm about to hop in the shower and sort myself out. But in fact it's not the morning, so that's what I wanted to say. We have had a very slow morning today. We've just been just pottering about the flat, trying to get it less hovel-like because yeah we're still going to be in here for about a week and it was getting pretty bad so um, as you can hear we've got a wash on as well so the baby has something to sleep in at night um anyway i'm going to hop in the shower and get ready so i'll probably see you post shower maybe we can get ready together Hi, my love. so i'm clean the washing machine is being louder than ever my hair is knotty but my brush is outside I'll Google it in a minute. <laughs> Very quickly, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna use some of my favourite products. So the first thing I like to use at the moment is the Vive Skin Nova Primer. Just gives a really nice glow to the skin. After my camera doesn't want to focus, probably because it's low light in here, it's actually on my list of things to do, is to get a new vlog camera. I want one that's a little bit um, more compact. This one's pretty big. I don't have a small one at the moment. It's terrible in low light, like this camera is awful in low light. Before I came on screen, I used my Bare Mineral Skin Longevity Long Life Herb Serum. Love it, run out of it again. And the Bare Minerals Ageless Moisturizer. This is actually, this is how chaotic my life is. I have actually been using the neck cream on my face because that's what I have. <laughs> um, now, I've been really loving the Awesome Tinted Moisturiser. I might talk about it a bit more on a day that I actually am going to use it. But because I think I need a little bit more coverage today, I'm vlogging as well. You know, the camera's going to be close up to my face. I'm going to use something with a bit more coverage. So I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. This is actually a little bit too dark for me as well. But <laughs> we're going to have to try and work with it. Like, look at that. That is not the right shade, but again, that is what I've got here at the flat, so we're working with it. This is just getting louder and louder, it's getting more and more ridiculous. We're going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer next. This is not going to be perfect, guys, because I don't have long to put it on. <laughs> next, I'm just going to add a little bit of Vive Bronzer. Next, I'm going to use the Vive Blush in Piazza, which is quite a nice kind of bronzy colour anyway. Now we've done skin, I'm going to use the Authored Brow Gel. I love this stuff. I'm going to do a little bit of the Vive eyeshadow stick in Camel, just on the eyelid. Super quick. Finally, I'm going to use the Authored Mascara. Also, really love this product. I'm gonna do some little freckles actually because I feel like I feel like it kind of complements fresh, light, quick makeup. So that's my literal five minute makeup. Oops. So I don't think I mentioned this before. Welcome back to the vlog. I don't think I mentioned this before, but we are going to Winter Wonderland this afternoon. Baby's first Winter Wonderland. I don't think we're gonna have time for stuff like this in December because I think December's gonna be pretty busy. I don't know. So we're, we're heading out and doing it early. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go there. We're not gonna be able to go on any rides or anything, obviously. You know, we've got a baby. But we'll eat something, we'll drink something. It'll be nice. It'll be Christmassy. I think they have a Christmas market there, don't they? So we'll have a look at some of that. And yeah, so that's where we're off to now. And we haven't got the pram it's at the wrong house. <laughs> so I'm going to have her in the carrier, I think.
finished Winter Wonderland and it was actually so nice. It felt like feeling very festive now and we had a really nice time and we managed to go on some rides, some of the like baby rides and it was real cute. Very wholesome but now we're headed to get a couple things from the house and then we're gonna get back and put her to bed depending and I don't know what time she's gonna go to bed depends if she falls asleep in the car right now which she probably will do. I have been terrible at opening my packages because they're all here at the house but I know that this launch today which is irrelevant to you guys because you know this vlog is going up late but I wanted to open it today anyway I'm going to put it on my story so I thought I would mention it on the vlog as well but the lovely Amy i.e the little magpie has done a collaboration with the Tartan Blanket Company on some gorgeous scarves these are the different um patterns she's got and you guys know I love a green, so we've got a beautiful green scarf. We've got some iron brew sweets. She is Scottish. <laughs> and we've got a candle as well, I think. I'm gonna open this up. So we are back at the flat. I am back in front of this extremely floral headboard. <laughs> um, and I got instantly into my PJs as well as soon as we got in, which is the good thing about being at the flat and not living on the top floor of the house. I can just get into my PJs real, real quick, but um just got back yeah it's quite late we gave the baby some dinner at the house did a couple bits picked up a couple bits and then came back here she did have a little nap in the car on the way back from winter wonderland which i suspected she would um so yes that's why bedtime is late um so i'm probably gonna put her to bed and then head to bed and not too long afterwards even though you know it's a crazy friday night so yesterday i said i would give you a full reading update so i'm going to do that i don't actually have any of the other physical copies of my books i don't think at least not here with me so i'm also reading i'm also reading two books that i've been reading for absolutely ages i'm trying to make my way through the third um proust book in from in search of lost time um i have come up recently with a better system for me reading like reading little bits of all of my books but when I've finished a few of these I'm definitely going to cut down because I just can't be reading like five books at once it confuses my tired brain so but I have hopefully come up with a more workable system um so I'm reading a little bit of Proust I am actually enjoying it if you can hear the baby crying I apologize <laughs> she's just got out of the bath um but I didn't love the second book at all so I was kind of expecting this one to not be a hit but I'm enjoying it so far who knows where it will go but I'm enjoying it so far I think I'm about 100, 100 pages in 150 pages in um, I'm also reading The Weird A Compendium of Strange and something stories <laughs> Dark Stories which is edited by Jeff and Anne van der Meer um, and it's just like a huge, like, huge overview of loads and loads of stories in the genre of the weird, which is a bit of a funny genre anyway. Um, but Jeff and Anne Vandermeer are big proponents of it as a genre. Um, and I started off liking the stories and then it got into that, I mentioned this yesterday, I think that was why it was, um, foremost in my mind actually, then I got into this, because they go in chronological order, then I got into the stories specifically from that time period where I just don't love a lot of writing. So I've been kind of ploughing my way through very slowly through those stories and I'm hoping to get to the slightly more contemporary ones soon. Um, yeah, some of them are really, really good, some of them not so much. Um, then I'm listening to The Whole Brain Child, which is like a, kind of like a parenting book. I listened to, no I didn't, I read another one on my Kindle um, and I thought it'd be something sort of easy-ish for me to listen to and try and absorb that way and I'm enjoying it. I'm going to talk about not why I'm not reviewing parenting books online um, in my book video whenever I discuss those books um, or not discuss them but yes so I'm listening to that and then Finally, on my Kindle as well, I'm reading The Weird and Proust on my Kindle because it's much easier for both of those to read them 
on there because it's just smaller and more compact. But this sort of other book that I'm reading on my Kindle as like my main Kindle book um, is The Night Watchman by Louise Erdrich. Erdrich. She is a um, Native American author um, and she's writing like it's sort of I think sort of semi based on her own grandfather actually. I think she won the Pulitzer Prize for it um, and I'm really really liking it. I'm really liking the style of writing. I like the characters. I like the plot. I think she has such a way with words. There's so many beautiful sentences that you just want to eat. They're so good. They're just like perfectly succinct but really beautiful imagery. And although I like the plot, I like I like where it's going, I like I like the story. Um it feels a little bit disjointed and a little bit slow at the moment. So I am struggling with that element just because my concentration is not what it was and I haven't got the time to kind of just read in long stretches, but I am enjoying it and I think I will end up liking it overall. So that is my full reading update. Um, I am probably required very soon for bedtime, so I will see you again in a minute.